Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and welcome to today's video. So as you can see, the towels on my head and the different towel too, by the way. You know, I'm slowly making some changes and also having a, you know, a regular towel on my head. It was kind of like getting heavy and sometimes it bobs to the side. So a hair towel makes sense. It really makes a lot of sense. So we're going to be trying out the Kiss Magnetic Lashes. Now, I made a poll on Instagram and I, I said how well, I asked you guys if you guys want to see the Moxie Lashes. But we're going to try the more affordable version first. Um, it does come with eyeliner and of course the lashes themselves. These are in the um, style Tempt. So if you guys want to see these, keep on watching. But before we get started with the video, of course, make sure you subscribe to my channel, ring that bell so you're notified when I do upload a new video, and don't forget to give this a thumbs up if you ever tried these before, or just like magnetic lashes in general. And don't forget to follow me on my Instagram handle, I believe it's right here, and let's get started with the video. Okay, as you guys can see, I have a bit of like, oh, I hope you could see, I have a bit of eyeliner on already, but it's the eyeshadow. I use it like kind of a guy, but I did put on my mascara though. So this is the packaging right here. As you can see, the lashes, the magnetic lashes, and it says here that they are the number one strongest formula. Okay, bold claim. Easy liquid application. It lasts up to 16 hours. There are five magnets on here. Now with Glamnetic, I know they have six, and then Moxie, they have 10. It just says here to shake the bottle, line your lashes, trim if needed, and then just apply right on. And of course, you have to wait for it to dry. Before we put on the lashes, and of course, I'm gonna be doing a wear test today. I need to see if they fit me. It's the last thing I need is to have lashes that don't fit me. All right, so I'm just gonna see if I need to trim this a little bit or not, or if you know the five lashes, uh, five magnets will do. Because I don't want it to poke me in the eye, the inner corner especially. So, and this was like my fear with like magnetic lashes. So, for this one, it has five. I just want to show you guys. Hope. Hopefully you can see. So this has five right here. So one, two, three, four, five. What I like is that they put the magnets close together. So if you need to trim it, you can. But because there's only five, I'm afraid that if I cut too much, then it's going to be too short and it's like a waste already. So that's why I'm just like a little hesitant about it. If I cut the one, it would be this short. So I'm trying to see if that would end up working out for me or not. Okay, maybe not. So we're gonna try the full, full lash. So here is the eyeliner. And I did get this for $20 at Walmart. And what's interesting about the eyeliner is that it, the open container it only says three months. I find it very interesting because usually it's like six months or something like that, but three months, so you don't have a lot of time to use this. Okay, so I scoot you guys in just so you can see the application. So because I have this guide already, it should be easier for me to put on my eyeliner. Now I must say, I do like the brush because it's not a felt tip brush, thank God. Of course you have to wait for it to dry, but I'm trying to see if it says how long to wait for it to dry. Okay, so it doesn't say, it just says line with lashes, eyeliner along the lash line, uh, lash right into the applied eyeliner. Okay, so I think it's dry right now. So let's try and apply the lash. Hmm. It's sticking on to everything else but the lash right now. And I put like a generous layer too. Yeah, all it says line with the lashes and then that's it. I would assume you have to wait for it to dry to obviously like put it on. Okay, so let's try this again. Oh, maybe I wait too long for it to dry? Ah, okay, so I probably wait too long for it to dry. So once you apply it, put it on, girl. Put it on. So there's no dry time needed. So the moment you apply, put it on. It was pretty easy. Do you guys see that? I also like this style too. It looks like it looks bold okay not bold but it looks natural but like it gives enough oomph there to like hey i'm right here i like that i really like that so we're gonna go with the other side thank goodness i didn't trim it because if i did i would have regretted it 
most likely. Again, no wait time with that, so just pop on. So if you feel that like it's not applying properly, just reapply the eyeliner. It should work. So the inner corner is not sticking on, so I would have to reapply. I like it, I bet I feel like with the inner corners is going to be a little tricky because you need to put a good amount of eyeliner just for that to stick for it to like magnetize so that's probably my only like gripe about it with the inner corner but i will let you guys know how this wears of course throughout the day and all that good stuff so right now it is 7 12 i need to finish getting ready for work and everything and probably tweak this up a little bit more but right now i don't feel like it's there really I and I hope it doesn't bother me when I wear my contacts but looks nice inner corners probably will be finicky throughout the day but again I will guide, I will let you guys know throughout the day see how that goes but I'm loving this look right now so hopefully it stays on so I'll see you guys in a little bit because I need to finish all this okay you guys I don't know if you can see this right now but so it is now 2.27, so let's say it's 2.30. It's been 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 1. It's been seven hours. And I kind of have a love-hate relationship with this, but before I tell you guys my thoughts, let me fix this on what's going on here, and I will tell you guys my thoughts for this check-in right now. And yeah, so give me a moment. All right, and we are back. Okay, so... I have very mixed feelings about, I don't know about these, um, this brand or if it's just my neck lashes in general, but as you guys saw at first, like it looked great at the beginning, like it stayed on, it looked great, it was simple, quick, and that's, that's something we all like, right? Um, also, after I fixed all this, it, um, I had to go out and walk Oakley and then do all that other stuff. It's now 321, so it's been another hour. And so eight hours now. And I had to reapply these lashes about three times now. So the first time is obviously like in the morning and then the second time was just a moment ago, um, an hour ago, and then I had to do it again now. So it's been about eight hours in and again, at first, they were great, it snapped on, it was quick and easy, effortless, great, right? As the day progressed, um, of course, um, you know, sometimes you have to reapply the eyeliner and everything like that, so I have no issues with that. The only issue that I have is how often I had to do it. So by the fifth hour or so, I basically had to reapply the liner in the inner corner about 10 times now. Now, I, again, like I said, sometimes like you have to reapply and everything, but the fact that I have to reapply 10 times or, or so, I wasn't keeping count, but it was very often just to make sure like the inner corner was still, you know, on there. The outer corner is just fine, but the inner corners was my issue um, because it's like the tear duct and then I think there's like more movement in the inner corner compared to the outer corner, if that makes any sense. But the inner corner was always the one that was like, um, unmagnetized, getting loose, or, or whatever the term is, but it, it, it wasn't on there anymore. So it was getting frustrating that I'm working and all of a sudden like I see the dangle and it's only like the inner corner. The outer corner is fine and it's not like I was being active either. I'm sitting down in front of the computer and I'm doing work. So it's not like I was doing much things to, to you know, to have the inner corner go dangle off and everything. Um, so I Again, I don't mind reapplying, it's just the frequency, how often I have to do it is kind of annoying. And also, I don't mind like taking off the lash and reapplying the eyeliner and everything just to give it more a fresher look. But again, how often I have to like reapply the inner corners and then sometimes like you have to take off the whole lash to clean the magnet because it starts building up, right? So once it takes too much of the liner, it's not going to stick anymore. So you have to 
take off the whole lash, get all that gunk off, and then you know reapply the eyeliner, put it back on, and then you have to make sure that it is lined up properly. So right now I'm kind of like on the fence. It's like, oh my god, you were so great at the beginning, and then it's like later on, I'm like, okay, you're kind of getting annoying right now. Um, but I took off the band, I, I took off my lashes, I cleaned up the magnet, so right now it's doing fine. Um, so we don't know how it's going to be in the next 5 hours if I have to constantly reapply. And I'm also going out for dinner as well, so it's going to be kind of funny if like I'm eating dinner and all of a sudden this starts going, you know, bad business, right? So hopefully it won't do that, but again, I'm on the fence. And I don't know if it's just this brand or if it's like Glamnetic or, Ma or Moxie Lash is the same thing, I'm not too sure. Or maybe the more Magnus is the solution or maybe the, the eyeliner formulation is different with this compared to the other two. I don't know. But again, I'm on the fence. So we shall see in the next several hours how I feel about this, if I still feel on the fence or if I end up loving it again or if I end up hating it. So I'll keep you guys posted. Okay guys, so it is now 5.10 and it's only been a few hours since I like last checked in with you guys and I don't think that this is something that I can wear long term. Reason being is that the inner corners, they constantly and constantly keep coming off and it, I'm getting to a point where like I'm getting sick and tired of constantly like reapplying it and I can feel it like I don't know how to describe this feeling but I feel like the magnets in the corner now and it's starting to feel annoying like I feel it and I don't know maybe it's just me but like again I don't mind if I have to reapply it every now and then but it became so constant that I like I I might as well just stick to like glue because like it actually stays on like I've only reapplied glue maybe like twice throughout the day um, so once obviously the initial application and then maybe one time by like sometime after lunch and then maybe once just before I get home just so it doesn't start to dangle when I drive home, right? And that's probably like the only time I would ever have to like really reapply unless the glue is really good then maybe once but other than that, nothing at all. The magnets, it's a great concept but I don't know if it's just this brand or if it's like all of them. I have other friends that like tried Moxie Lash and um, Glamnetic and they swear by it, they love it. Me on the other hand, I don't know if I would try those yet. Um, maybe down the line I'll try it and probably give it a magnet magnetic lash as another chance. But as of right now, I am not really feeling it. Initially, I'm like this looks great like this is so easy like I really do love like how my eyes look today like it's just a nice like oomph but I I am getting really annoyed at the fact that I have to constantly like put, put back on and everything so right now I am going to take these off and also I, I kind of wanted to mention that with the eyeliner, I don't think you guys can tell but because I have to constantly reapply, it's kind of getting like a little crusty because the amount of layers I have to put on and on and on so it's getting really annoying to like do that and it, it's getting to feel quite weird. Um, so again, like I probably will pass on these magnetic lashes. Um, now maybe like for another person this works out for them but for me i don't like it like initially speaking they were great i absolutely loved it now not so much so unfortunately i would have to pass on this i'm kind of disappointed because i was really really stoked about it i was just like oh my gosh magnetic lash is great it's affordable um at walmart it's only like 20 dollars, and it turns out it's yeah, no, I, it doesn't work out for me. So right now, I'm gonna take off a bit of, of the inner corner eyeliner so I can put on my usual lashes so they don't annoy the hell out of me. So anyways, you guys, that's a wrap for today's video. I can't wear these any longer. Like my, my eyes are getting really annoyed. So anyways, that is it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. In summary, I don't really approve of these lashes, this whole magnetic lash thing, but that's just me. Just saying. And anyways, I will see you guys in the next one. I gotta fix this for dinner in like 
half an hour. So anyways, you guys, I'll see you in the next one. But before you leave, make sure you check out these other two videos right here if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Bye.